Welcome to London City Girl. Today we're going to count down the top 10 Hollywood movie bust ups. At number 10 is Faye Dunaway vs. Roman Polanski. While filming Chinatown, the actress and director had a famously difficult working relationship. Dunaway's questions about the motivation of her character apparently drove Polanski to distraction, once causing him to shout, Say the fucking words, your salary is your motivation. Onset tension escalated to such an extent that once when a stray hair on Dunaway's head was ruining a shot, Polanski pulled the offending strand straight out of her scalp. Not one for taking things lying down, Dunaway then reportedly peed in a cup and threw it in Polanski's face when he refused to let her go for a toilet break. Years later, when a journalist from The Guardian asked about the incident, Dunaway angrily refused to comment. At number nine is George Clooney versus David O. Russell. The pair worked together on the Gulf War drama Three Kings and tensions built during filming. Things came to a head when O. Russell threw an extra violently onto the ground to demonstrate something and Clooney protested. A fight then broke out between the director and actor with O. Russell eventually apologising to Clooney. Clooney once described the incident as truly, without exception, the worst experience of my life. At number eight is Lily Tomlin versus David O. Russell. Not content with fighting George Clooney, O. Russell also had a nasty altercation with Lily Tomlin on the set of his next film, I Heart Huckabees. When Tomlin complained moodily that O. Russell was constantly changing things, the director flew into a fury, swearing at the actress and throwing things. The incident was filmed and leaked online. Afterward, both Tomlin and O. Russell insisted that the incident was blown out of proportion and that despite their argument, they remain on good terms. At number seven is Christian Bale versus Shane Hulbert. On the set of Terminator Salvation, Bale launched into a blistering tirade against Shane Hulbert, the director of photography, who had unwittingly distracted Bale by walking into a scene. The actor ranted for over four minutes, swearing, threatening violence, and then declaring, you and me, we're done professionally. The tape was leaked online, most believed by a sympathetic insurer, and the recording went viral. Bale gave an interview to Los Angeles radio station KROQ and apologised at length, saying, I was way out of order and I acted like a punk. Bale stated he apologised to Hulbert after the incident and the pair patched things up. At number six is Bill Murray versus Lucy Liu. On the set of Charlie's Angels, Murray reportedly took a dislike to Lucy Liu, the only angel who wasn't an already established film star at the time. He is said to have interrupted a scene to say to Drew Barrymore, I get why you're here, and then to Cameron Diaz, and you've got talent, before remarking to Lou, but what in the hell are you doing here? You can't act. Lou then reportedly launched into a physical attack, throwing punches at Murray and the pair had to be separated by the crew as they continued to hurl verbal insults at each other. The relationship remained frosty until the bitter end and Murray never returned for the sequel. At number five is Sarah Jessica Parker versus Kim Cattrall. Fans of Sex and the City were surprised to learn that on-screen best friends Sarah Jessica Parker and Kim Cattrall did not get on in real life. During the shooting of the Sex and the City movie, rumours of a rift began to emerge. The root of the problem was said to stem from Cottrell's high salary demands, which delayed the shooting of the film. The pair allegedly gave each other the silent treatment, and there were frequent stories of the co-stars ignoring each other at after-parties, although they remained professional on the red carpet. Since then, the actresses have acknowledged in interviews that their relationship was strained, with SJP admitting, there are times when all of us have been sensitive and sometimes feelings get hurt. However, the pair have said they have resolved their differences. At number four is Jennifer Grey versus Patrick Swayze. Although Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze played one of the most iconic couples in romantic film history, their off-screen relationship was anything but romantic. After finding out that Swayze had been cast to star opposite her, Grey was said to have become extremely upset as she had worked with Swayze in a previous film and had hated the experience. Swayze had his own issues with Grey, admitting to finding her trying on the set of Dirty Dancing because she was prone to spontaneity and some mood swings during the hours and hours of dance training. Swayze, the much more experienced dancer, revealed he found it difficult to tamp down his frustrations with the actress. 
He wrote in his memoir, The Time of My Life, We did have a few moments of friction when we were tired or after a long day of shooting. Grey seemed particularly emotional, sometimes bursting into tears if someone criticised her. Other times, she slipped into silly moods, forcing us to do scenes over and over again when she'd start laughing. I was on overdrive for the whole shoot, staying up all night to do rewrites, squeezing in dance rehearsals, shooting various scenes, and was exhausted a lot of the time. I didn't have a whole lot of patience for doing multiple retakes. However, the pair parted as friends, and in interviews Swayze frequently praised Grey, saying she did a phenomenal job, and often crediting much of the success of Dirty Dancing to her. Grey was equally complimentary when discussing Swayze, and after the actor's death she paid him a tearful tribute while participating in the 11th season of Dancing with the Stars. At number 3 is Edward Norton vs Tony Kay. Director Tony Kay and Edward Norton famously fell out on Kay's debut feature film, American History X, in which Norton plays an ex-neo-Nazi who goes to prison and emerges a changed man. The director had put together an 87-minute cut of the film, and although the film received positive feedback, Norton was said to have hated it and threatened not to do press for the movie unless things were changed. The studio agreed to let Norton completely re-edit, leaving Kay so furious he is quoted as saying Norton raped his film. The director also attempted to have his name removed from the movie's credits. When asked about the director's anger, Norton stated, If Tony Kay hadn't wanted to make the movie with me, the studio wouldn't have wanted to make the movie with Tony Kay. At number two is Marlon Brando versus Frank Oz. 77-year-old Marlon Brando proved a challenge for director Frank Oz as he shot the movie The Score. Brando was portraying a gay thief and his overly camp portrayal caused Oz to ask him to tone it down. However, Brando took such offence that he took to calling Oz Miss Piggy, as Oz famously voiced Miss Piggy in The Muppets. Brando, who was notoriously conscious of his weight, also resorted to walking around the set naked below the waist in order to ensure that Oz never showed him in a full body shot. Eventually, Brando simply refused to shoot scenes with the director in the room, forcing Oz to have to direct the film from afar, with the movie's other star, Robert De Niro, acting as a go-between. In later interviews, Oz took responsibility for the problems with Brando, saying he had been too confrontational with the actor and should have been more nurturing of Brando's style. At number one is Ewan McGregor versus Danny Boyle. This actor and director team produced classics such as Shallow Grave, Trainspotting and A Life Less Ordinary. Following their successes, McGregor was all but promised the lead role in Boyle's new film, The Beach. However, as soon as the more famous Leonardo DiCaprio expressed an interest, Boyle dropped McGregor from the film. McGregor didn't take kindly to being so unceremoniously dumped and the pair fell out. Boyle has since expressed remorse for the way he handled the situation, telling The Independent, I think Ewan was very upset by what we did. He feels we betrayed him, and I think he's right. McGregor revealed in an ABC interview, Danny and I don't speak. We haven't spoken for years. There was a falling out of sorts over the beach, and that was quite a messy and hurtful time. However, the pair have since made amends and are planning to work on the Trainspotting sequel, Porno, together. That concludes our list of the top 10 infamous off-screen movie bust-ups. We hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, for more videos like this, subscribe to London City Girl, and we'll see you next time.